Zew. You're right, sir. Slow your rotation, stellar fool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... We'll hold your britches and get needles and thread to sew up your stitches. We have a NASA mystery. Dun-dun-dun. Scientists are baffled by Pluto's intense X-ray emissions. No natural means for meeting them, nameless scientists claimed. All right, scientists have no idea what's going on. Story comes to us on September 18th. Something very odd is going on around Pluto. According to NASA scientists, the New Horizons flyby of the former ninth planet is revealed an enigma. An icy world that has plants, bushes, trees, lakes, Plutonian marijuana, and people racing around in moon buggies. And I know what you're saying right now, like, why would you be riding a moon buggy on a planet? Remember, this is a dwarf planet. And if it was driving around in a dwarf planet buggy, that would just be weird. Okay, wait, I don't think it said that. According to NASA scientists, the new horizons fly by the former ninth planet has revealed an enigma. The icy world that orbits some 3.6 billion miles from the sun appears to be emitting x-rays. High energy radiation associated with gases with temperatures of a million degrees. That makes Pluto the furthest known x-ray source in our solar system. Wait, so what is causing the x-rays? Maybe Pluto's a dentist or a doctor of the solar system. Celestial objects get boo-boos too. Who thinks he can kiss it? Apparently Pluto. We've just detected for the first time x-rays coming from an object in our own Kuiper Belt. You don't own the Kuiper Belt, bro. Just because you're NASA doesn't mean you own all of space. I mean, just because South Park said you do doesn't mean you do. Wait, what? Uh. And learn that Pluto is interacting with the solar wind in an unexpected and energetic fashion, said Carrie Lees, an astrophysicist at the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, who led the Chandra observation team with APL colleague and New Horizons co-investigator Ralph McNutt. Oh my god. Okay, so what did McNutt say? Because that guy's crazy. We can expect other large Kuiper Belt objects to be doing the same. What? Emitting x-rays? A what? Aliens. Before our observations, scientists thought it was highly unlikely that we detect x-rays from Pluto, added astronomer Scott Wolk. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew by Pluto in 2014 and 2015. The Chandra X-ray Observatory imaged Pluto. No known objects in our solar system beyond Saturn emit X-rays. Didn't you kind of repeat that? You just changed like one or two words. It's like the third time, bro. Don't be so lazy. A cold, rocky, and non-magnetic body like Pluto shouldn't normally create X-rays. Under scientists' models, which are backed by like the monolith calculator computer quantum machine. What am I trying to say here? Scientists get things wrong sometimes, people. Hate to break it to you. You need a break to go cry? Okay, go ahead. I'll wait here a second. But it might be able to do so in an interaction with charged particles of the solar wind. Except for the fact that there doesn't appear to be enough solar wind to create x-rays as bright as the one Chandra detected. Uh, this mystery's put me to sleep. The hell? While NASA's New Horizons spacecraft was speeding towards and beyond Pluto, Chandra aimed several times on the dwarf planet and its moons, gathering data on Pluto that the missions could compare after the flyby. Each time Chandra pointed at Pluto, four times in all, from February 2014 to August 2015, it detected low-energy x-rays from the small planet. Pluto is the largest known object in the Kuiper Belt. Asterisk. I mean, I think Mike Brown said Eris is bigger. A ring or belt containing a vast population of small bodies outside the orbiting the sun. Yeah, Neptune. The Kuiper Belt extends from the orbit of Neptune about 30 degrees, or 30 times the distance of the Earth to the Sun, to about 50 times the Earth's Sun distance. What? Pluto's orbit ranges over the same span as the overall Kuiper Belt. What the hell? Pluto is the largest object in the Kuiper Belt, a ring or belt containing a vast population of small bodies orbiting the Sun beyond Neptune. The Kuiper Belt extends from the orbit of Neptune at 30 times the distance from Earth and from the Sun to about 50 times the distance of Earth to the Sun. Today? Blah. The team recently published its findings online in the journal Icarus. The report details what Liss says was a somewhat surprising detection given that Pluto, being cold, rocky, and without a magnetic field, has no natural mechanism for emitting X-rays. See, science? You learn something new every day. If you just keep an open mind. Uh, strict. New Horizon scientists were particularly interested in learning more about the interaction between the gases in Pluto's atmosphere and the solar wind. The spacecraft itself carries an instrument designed to measure that activity up close. The aptly named Solar Wind Around Pluto Array, and scientists are using the data to craft a picture of Pluto that contains a very small close in bow shock where the solar wind first meets Pluto, in a small wake or tail behind the planet. 
The immediate mystery is that Chandra's readings on the brightness of the X-rays are much higher than expected from the solar wind interacting with Pluto's atmosphere. Are that cleared up for you? Excellent. More science than you can handle. Trust me. God bless everyone. That's good news.